Hi guys, Jared here with Awesome Sauce Electric, here to do a little tutorial on if you have one light switch in your bathroom that turns on your light and your fan, how to split that into two switches so you don't have to hear the annoying loud fan when you go to just turn a light on. Now if you like electrical DIY and some handy tricks to know around the house, go ahead and like and subscribe for some more videos like this. All right guys, like usual, let's go over some tools you're gonna wanna have uh, before you get into this. Uh, for starters, uh, you're gonna wanna have your non-contact voltage stick to test for voltage on a wire. Um, a pair of wire strippers. Here my trim screwdriver. Uh, some pliers to untwist some wires if you're gonna need to. And then the part that's gonna make this uh, two switches, so what's called a stack switch. Now, they thought about this pretty well because they made it so a regular outlet plate can fit over this. So you don't need a special plate. You don't need anything crazy. These aren't that expensive. I will say though, the only way that this is gonna work in your bathroom is if both wires your two switch legs which is the wire that goes up to your light and the wire that goes to your fan both come from your switch box now if they wired it to where your power comes into your switch and a switch leg comes up to a light and then they tap off this light into your fan and you only have one switch leg in your box this is not going to work yeah it's gonna be a whole different ball game but Needless to say, let's get into this, and I'll show you how simple it is. Now before we get into this, let's start with shutting your breaker off to your bathroom. Now the way I have this board wired up, this will be my breaker. This is my disconnect, so that'll be my breaker shutting off. Now let's pull this trim plate off. Let's go ahead and pull the wires off of our switch here. Now let's look what we got here. Let's just pull our wires out and go over everything we've got in here. Now let's first start with our ground. So we have our ground here which that'll stay, as our switch will only need one ground. So let's go ahead and tuck that back in. When dealing with regular switches, not dimmers or anything, you won't need to worry about your neutrals, so those, those can stay tied together. Let's go ahead and just tuck those in there. So now we have our blacks, our hots and our switch legs. So if you're looking into your box and you're not really sure what goes to what, like say this one has a few wires under it and it's wire nutted and it has a wire coming out. And this one has two and one wire coming out. So first things first, let's find our hot and go from there. So how we're gonna find our hot is let's make sure these wires aren't touching and go ahead and turn our breaker on, which will be my switch over here. So we're gonna turn it on, use our non-contact voltage stick, no power, there's power on that. So we know this one is our hot. So let's tuck that one over to the side, shut our breaker off and we're back at our box. So this one, we know there's two switch legs. We know these ones aren't power, so they aren't running other outlets or anything like that. So let's go ahead and grab our pliers and pull those apart. Now we have that separated. Let's go ahead and straighten out our hot because we're gonna try something here. 
and we know that's our hot. So let's keep that over there so we don't mix that up with our switch legs. Now, something you can do here, if you're uh, wanting to be particular and you want your top switch to be your light and bottom switch to be your fan, you're gonna have to know which switch leg does what. Now, to do that, you can grab your hot here and just tie it in with one of these switch legs. You don't gotta twist it because it's just gonna be temporary, so just put a wire nut under them. Let's back this camera up. Now I purposely have the cover off of our exhaust fan here so that you can see it when the light turns on and the fan runs because it's a quiet exhaust fan so you're not going to hear it. So let's turn our breaker on and see if the light or the fan turns on. Okay, so we know that that switch leg will be our light. So let's make that the top of our switch. So let's go ahead and pull these back apart. We remember this one's our hot, so we're gonna keep that one down there. So here's our wires we're gonna want. Now a closer look at this switch here. Our hots, our one hot is gonna be on this black. It could be on either one because it is connected with this tab here. If you break this tab, then only one side of this switch is gonna have power. So keep that tab on there. There's our ground, green for ground, or hot. And then here's where your two switch legs will go. So our light switch leg will go on this one, so it's ran off this switch. And then our fan switch leg will go off this one, so it's ran off this switch. Let's go ahead and put this in. Now we can put our plate on. And yes, they're different colors, just for demonstration. Now let's turn them both off. We'll go over to our breaker, turn it on. Now, let's try it out. Our top switch should be the light, and bottom switch should be our fan. And just like that, guys, it's that easy, and you can pick these up at any hardware store or order them off Amazon. So, again, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe, uh, comment on anything you would like to see in the future. Thank you.